Hi everyone, welcome to Real Fresh Dairy Farms Incorporated and the Laguna Creamery. We are located here at Sitio Sampalukan, Barangay Masaya. So come with us as we tour you around the farm and the plant. We're here sa aming uh, forage preparation areas. We're getting different kinds of roughage or grass. So this one, we have uh, farmers no, helping us by planting uh, feed for cows. We have a forage chopper here. So this machine no, cuts the grass into smaller size. So the reason why we're cutting it into small uh, sizes is that para lang malesen yung refusal. And at the same time, less yung time for the cows to chew. Yun yung isa sa mga ways for you to uh, maximize the feed. No, they are voracious feeders. So they eat 10% to 15% of their body weight. Aside from the grass that we're feeding our cows, so we're also giving them uh, industrial byproducts such as uh, malt and okara. So okara is the pulp of soy, soya. This one, the malted uh, barley. So this area, lahat ng mga growing animals namin na less than 6 months of age ay nandito. So you call them calves pagka baby na 0 to 6. We transfer them when they reach 6 months of age. So after 6 months, you call them naman grower. So this is where we milk our cows. We milk our cows uh, twice a day, every 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. So the reason why we milk them during this time is there are less activities done uh, during the early times of the day. And during the afternoon, no, there are few people present here at, uh, in this area. At the same time, we're also playing classical music. Music masks the external noise created by machines and uh, people. So the cows come in from here. About four to six cows come in and they face this way as the feed is here. So when the cows are feeding, the milker puts the pumps on the other, on the, on the cow's teeth. Okay, so we're at our barn. Cow comfort is also the other issue that we really look after. So if you notice our cows, many of them are sort of sitting or lying down. And we want them to be in this position because um, they're more relaxed and this is when they are producing milk. So if you notice, we have a back scratcher here, we have fans here, and we have generally good ventilation here to combat the heat. It's a good thing that we are near a mountain and uh, the temperature here is normally about 4 to 5 degrees lower than that of uh, Metro Manila. As you see, about 90% of them are resting and producing milk. So this is how an ideal farm should look like. We have uh, drinking troughs in every barn and the reason why we have uh, water troughs, our cows uh, need to hydrate themselves. Milk, so it's 80% water. It's important they drink a lot of water. It, it should be accessible to them. It, it should be also clean. In order to help our environment, especially now the trend is uh, to be more green, no? the management of uh, Hollis decided to have its own uh, solar panels to collect renewable energy from the sun. We want to be an example for other farms so that we can utilize available energy. And also, aside from this, we're also planning to use solid waste to produce methane gas so that we can use it for heating and also for energy. Currently, this solar panel is being used for the processing plant of the Laguna Creamery. So we're coming in now, our processing plant, and this is uh, the first fresh milk processing plant in the Philippines. When I say fresh milk processing, it's processing at 72.5 degrees, HTST inline processing. So please come in. This is our lab, and um, we check for the uh, different values of the milk, and of course, the other products we come up with, whether it's cheese, yogurt, chocolate milk, or whatnot. In the next room, you will see um, holding tanks inside uh, these holding tanks or the vat chilling vats have the milk the raw milk inside and it's a double walled vat so there's cold water running around the inside of the double wall to keep the milk chilled 
because we don't run our our pasteurizer and homogenizer every day. We run it every other day. So we, we keep the, the milk here since we need to milk the cows every day. And if you notice, there's a machine here. This is called a milk separator or a cream separator. You run the raw milk into this machine and in one side, you'll have the non-fat milk and in the other side, all the cream comes out. Now that's my favorite part because we use that for the ice cream. So you have non-fat milk. In order to make low-fat milk, you need to put back 2%. Okay, so low-fat milk is a 2% milk-fat product. Whole milk, on the other hand, is a 3.7% fat product. So you have the non-fat milk, you put back 3%, 3.7% fat, and that is a whole milk product. The excess cream is what we use at Carmen's Best for our ice cream. So here we have our pasteurizer and homogenizer so the pasteurizing equipment is the machine there with a lot of pipes so when the milk is in the pipes it heats the milk to 72.5 degrees for 20 seconds and it immediately drops it to chilled temperature so it does not overcook the milk from the pasteurizer it runs through the homogenizer which, which breaks down the fat equally or evenly so when you drink our milk, whether it's chocolate milk, low-fat milk, or whole milk, the taste of the milk is the same from the first sip to the last sip because the fat is equally distributed. That's what homogenizing does. Perfect, they're making cheese. So if you notice, um, this is where we make the, we pack the kesong pute. And our kesong pute is 100% made with fresh milk. Other producers milk uh, mix water with their milk before they make the cheese to lower their food cost. But with us, we believe in quality of product. We do not dilute our milk before we make our cheese. So our cheese is 100% made from fresh milk. So I hope you get to try this cheese because it's really different. It does not crack. When you see kesum puti that cracks, it does have a lot of water in the milk when they process the cheese. And the machine in the back is our semi-automatic filling machine for our liquid products, for the chocolate milk, whole milk, and, and low-fat milk. So I hope you got uh, good information about how we run our farm and how we process our milk. And I uh, hope you get to try our products one of these days. Thank you so much.